Did you know that there is a war going on? And it is a spiritual war, and it's a war against your soul. 1 Peter 2.11 says that there is a war going on against your soul. Now, in your soulish realm, that is your mind, your will, your feelings, your emotions. That is the soulish realm. And that is where the enemy tries to come in and take control. But the Spirit of the Lord, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It says in Galatians that the, the flesh or the soul uh, wars against the Spirit. And the Spirit against the flesh. There is a conflict going on there. And this war is a spiritual war. And we must be prepared to, to fight the good fight of faith in this spiritual war. You know, it says in Revelation 19 that Jesus is coming on a white horse with the armies of God behind him. And he is coming to bring, bring judgment on the head of the enemy. And he is coming to, to war just for you and just for me. You know, that's good news for me. And I believe that it's good news for you. In this day and time, we must renew our minds to the Word of God so that those, those thoughts become God's thoughts. And the enemy cannot come in there and infiltrate uh, our minds with thoughts. And, and then it goes into actions and it goes into feelings and emotions. You know, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, it says that we're made up of three parts. We're made up of a spirit, a soul, and a body. And we must let the Spirit of God rise up in us and be strong in order to defeat uh, what the enemy is trying to do. John 10.10 10 says that the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy your destiny and your purpose. He comes to do that. But Jesus said, I have come, I have come to bring judgment on the head of the enemy, and I have come to bring you victory, and to bring you life, and to bring you life more abundantly. I am calling forth the warriors to come and to present yourself unto the Lord Jesus Christ. If we are soldiers of the cross, you know, I'm wearing my SWAT team uh, outfit today, my SWAT outfit, because I am a soldier with all truth, which is SWAT. I am a SWAT member because I believe in warring for my soul. You know, it says to work out your salvation with fear and with trembling. You know, and I want to, to just uh, bring you the story of, of King David. He wasn't king at this time. He was just a shepherd boy. And he was on the, the backside of the pasture, if you will, and he was tending his flocks. And his dad said, I want you to go and, and see about your brothers because they're in battle against the Philistines. And in 1 Samuel uh, chapter 17, in verse 4, King David, uh, not, he's not king yet, but David went up against the Philistine, or the giant. And, and this is what uh, David said to the giant. This is what we are to say to our enemies. This is what we're to say to sickness and disease. This is what we're to say uh, to those uh, thoughts that the enemy brings. This is what we're to say... Uh, to suicide thoughts. This is what we're to say to depression and, and paranoia and all those things that, that come against uh, our soul, to war against our soul. This is what we're to say. You come to me with a sword and with a javelin and you come with, uh, to, with me to, with a spear, but I come to you. This is what David said to the, to the giant. I come to you in the name of the Lord God Almighty, who is the Lord and the King of the armies. This is who I come to you with. 
And this day the Lord is going to give you into my hand. And I am going to feed your carcass to the birds. This is what we are to say to the enemy. What was this? This was a shadow and a type of the spirit man, David, rising up and speaking out the word of God in the name of the Lord. And the power of God comes and defeats your enemy. He took his sling and he put a smooth stone in it and he whirled it around and he hit the giant right in the forehead. And the giant fell. That's what your enemy will do when you use the Word of God. And when you say, when that spirit come, rises up in you and it, it becomes strong and it's stronger than any giant that you might face, any financial problem, any uh, foreclosure of your home, any uh, cancer, I am speaking this day and I am telling you that you must war against those enemies that come to attack your soul. You know, if you're, a, if you're a believer, if you believe in Jesus Christ, then your spirit is secure. The enemy cannot get to your spirit, but it can come against your mind. It can come against your body, which is in the soulish realm. The war is against your soul. Let us rise up and fight the enemy today with the word of God, which is powerful. And we know that the, the giant fell, and David went over and cut off his head with his own sword. So be and it. sure enough, his body was said to the bird. That day, the Lord ruled in that situation. And that day, there was victory in the camp. And I speak victory to you today. Victory in your camp, in your family, in your finances. In your ministry, I speak victory has come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for viewing. She